Hey Scorpios, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We are doing the back to bullshit as usual. Well, <laughs> um, we're doing it a little bit different. Um, from now on, I'm actually going to do them Zodiac specific messages and they will be um, Zodiac specific and then I'm going to make sure that I, um, I, I channel in for the entire month instead of the the week ahead okay so we're gonna do back to bullshit as usual Scorpio collective for May 2021 okay if you guys do not follow me on Instagram feel free to I have that in the description box below as well as um, <laughs> as well as my information for third eye visions if you guys want to go ahead and uh check out the full selection if you want to see me rocking full fits go ahead and check that out in the instagram um as well as my other collaborations with belisa's desires um uh, styles by mommy doll um starlight for my channeled messages on wednesdays those are out um those are written out form if you guys want to go ahead and check that out that's um definitely something different all right um that's it for right now, Scorpio, because I feel like these cards want to talk. Either that, Scorpio, or somebody's falling all over themselves for you. You know what? There's a lot of communication that wants to happen, but it's like somebody keeps getting lost in the words. I'm hearing passion with the things you say. <sighs> okay. We have the discipline of writing something down is the first step towards making it happen. Okay, you could be dealing with the Virgo. And there is no wealth but life. Oh. Okay, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like somebody, Scorpio, is really in their humanitarian, is, uh, humanitarianism. Somebody's really um, about growing the community, about growing life, about growing um, together as a source. So either you or the person you're directly dealing with. Okay. I've always thought that a big laugh is really a loud noise from the from the soul saying ain't that the truth i feel like somebody is starting to laugh at how um how incredibly immature they were in the past scorpio either you or the person you're directly dealing with but take time first to um take time first thing to visualize an incredible day yeah but somebody is learning how to um i'm hearing somebody's learning how to fight depression so Scorpio, um, some of you guys could be um, battling some kind of uh, um, depression or ha are going through a really deep dark night of the soul right now. It could Once again, you could be dealing with the Virgo. Only those who will risk going too far can possibly ha fi find out how far they can go. Um, I feel like so you could, some of you are dealing with an Aries, but somebody keeps pushing your buttons and you're about to open that can of whoop ass because they're asking for it. Don't be fooled by the calendar. There are only as many days in the year as you make of it. Yeah, I'm telling you, Aries energy here with the full card. Um, I mean, with the full, like, Aries, Aquarius, and Pisces energy. Somebody has been, um, somebody's been living, um, either A, somebody's been living a double life or somebody, or, or B, somebody's been living in delusion for many, many years. Scorpio, either you or the person that you're directly dealing with. Yeah, but somebody's definitely having a heart activation here. You could be dealing with the Leo. But with candle magic and holes, relationships at the bottom of the deck, somebody was trying to use some kind of candle magic to um, to close your heart space, Scorpio. And, fi and um, fill this void with, like, fuckery with hoes and, and bitches and and like drugs and alcohol and just like low vibrational mess but i think with because candle magic with candle magic here and and the heart chakra i feel like this void this void was created um 
the magic created this void like this is not a, a void or this is not even something like a dark issue that either you a scorpio or the person that you're directly dealing with has to like this isn't this isn't part of your karma to go through this scorpio this is somebody trying to tamper with your fate this is somebody trying to tamper with what it is that you're supposed to do somebody who who, who is falling out of control here that's lacking control like they want to have control over you so they're trying so hard they've even resulted to magic yeah and some of you guys could have may have been having dreams about it with such a curious dream here trying to ground yourself trying to figure out if this is really true because you're returning to reality here from your astral travels from your astral from the astral planes with this information that somebody's actually doing some kind of heart Oh, I was going to say heart harnessing. <laughs> so somebody could have been trying to um, to do like some kind of energy harvesting through your heart chakra. But with laws, not justice and rules that are not fair, like somebody could have been doing some kind of love spells. Yeah. And, and with find the lesson here and nature of communication. Once again, belong to your own dream. I'm telling you, a lot of you guys have been seeing in the dream state that somebody has been doing these love spells on you. And actually, you could tell by the way that you communicate with this person. Because this person, it's like when this person does love magic on you, they look for you or or they interact with you in a different way. Because I think somebody was doing love magic for years, Scorpio, and it backfired. And now this person is heavily obsessed with you. That's what I'm getting here. Either you are the person that you're directly dealing with, with, but with Purify on top of the deck and sound like somebody's been doing some meditation, somebody's been doing some kind of, um, been been working with the Tibetan bowls, something, but somebody mirrored the shit out of this, um, these love spells with elemental messengers here. Yeah, like so maybe somebody was using some kind of uh, reversal incense or reversal candles, but... Cosmic justice is here. I'm feeling Maha energy because this is a karmic cycle coming to an end. This person's about to, this person's about to blow out um, their heart chakra. They're gonna be love sick and obsessed for the rest of their life with this person. Yeah, with the Knight of Cups here, um, wanting to go in their direction to offer this love, but they never will make it because this person's so far out of frequency. It's only look justice again as I open the deck. Like this person could apologize as much as they want, but the their karma is to watch you be in love with somebody else because they wanted to to play games with you. Yep, will of fortune here. You could be dealing with the Leo or a Libro, but I think somebody found their twin here with the four of wands, and yeah, and they're actually gonna work it out. Yeah, and somebody might end up going to jail here over some type of exposure. Uh, maybe something to do with witchcraft here with the Seven of Cups. But somebody feels personally victimized and you're going to hear something about it on social media. It's going to be a big ass um, uh, uh, with the Ace of with the ace of Wands here, like Firecracker. Somebody's like, somebody is going to come out on a video to try to like, justify what they did or what they said a very money motivated person with the queen of pentacles here but um with the weapon here this this um this explosive communication that's going to come out in social media is actually going to do them in yeah with the ace of cups here like yeah that's actually what's gonna that's the ultimate exposure here that's gonna find um that's going to um, put this person behind bars. And when this person is found out, when this person goes through this exposure, that's when you're going to have this brand new beginning in love, Scorpio. Yeah, but you have to unbound yourself first. Yeah, look, see, I'm telling you. Somebody wanted you like so deep in the void that you would just say yes to anything and everything that they would say but they're learning the hard way that you were grounded and that you have i'm feeling a lot of native american ancestors you guys like really really deep um totem pole animals like i'm not saying that like 
Somebody, yeah, somebody is really, really root, root, rooted and connected to the earth. Whether that, that has to do with um, these indigenous ancestors or not, somebody is definitely in tune with the earth and the earth is actually, the universe is coming back and telling whoever it is that tried to put this person in a void that that's not going to happen. Yeah, with karmic relationships on top of the deck, like that, this is the end. And this person, I don't believe they were a karmic. Yeah, look, see, they were going through an initiation and they failed their initiation by putting love spells on you. Yeah, they were they were supposed to break the chains. They were supposed to um they were they were the person in their family that was supposed to break um and um break the ancestral patterns, you know, the um healing seven generations forward, healing seven generations back. And this person stupid ass tried to rewrite their future, tried to rewrite their destiny by taking your destiny, Scorpio. And they've done this in in past lives and that's why that they that's why they failed um that's why they failed in this lifetime and they're not going to make it into your in, into new earth and they're not going to make it with you in this lifetime i don't even think they're going to find love in this lifetime yeah but you just need to unbound yourself know that life is your cannabis and that you need to trust the timing because this is the, you need to let go of this person because with the weight of the world here boundaries let go it's not yours to carry they had their chance and and they they missed it Missed opportunity for Cups Energy. This person just wasn't meant to be with you. Okay, Scorpio? All right. That's what I have for you. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye.